So today we're looking at how to do conditional formatting referencing another tab in your Google Sheet. So here we have a quick lead CRM, some sample data here. And then on the settings tab, I have a couple different things I'm gonna demonstrate in this video. So first off, we're gonna have a list of emails here, and then we want to match whatever emails are matching these, and then have them highlighted. And so here's the formula for that one, and I will explain it as we put it together. So let me go ahead and select this data range here, conditional formatting, go to custom formula, and then we can pull this up here and do some highlighting. I need to get rid of my little dash in front. So to walk through this real quick, we're using a match formula, and then we're looking in column D, and then this indirect is how we reference the other tab. And so you can see we have that reference to column A on the settings tab, and then we're doing zero for that exact match. And so this is matching everyone that shows up. So we have the Bing, the UIUC.edu, et cetera. Now what happens if we want to check a payment status, for example, based on the email? So if we had this list of emails and the associated payment status, and then we want to highlight accordingly. So we're going to modify this indirect into a VLOOKUP, and then as example, we'll do paid here. So let's go ahead and just remove this for now. And then we can select this whole data set and then add our custom formula here. So in this case, we need to add a dollar sign in front of our D, so it will highlight the row. And then in this one, we can use paid, I think it's a, uh, just do green, something like that. There we go. And then we can do the same thing, add another rule. And we could do disputed. Do this one red, for example. I think that's red. And then, yeah, refunded yellow. And just like that. So that's how we can highlight based on a status using the VLOOKUP. And so let's go ahead and remove these real quick. And let's run into our next one here. So next one is a search. Let me just go ahead and narrow these down a little bit. So in the search one, we can use a single cell and then we can search for that result. And so this bing.com is part of this email you can see right here. And so if we use this formula, we can search whatever we have in here and find it in here. And so let's just go ahead and do it in column D. Uh, let's just use this for a little quick. And then let's use our formula there. Sure enough, there it is. So we can quickly update this. We could take SurveyMonkey, for example, put that in there, and you can see SurveyMonkey is highlighted. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end. It could just be SurveyMonkey, for example, and it still highlights. All right, so that's it for that one. And then finally, let's do one more real quick. And so basically we're going to do a quick scale. So let's go ahead and grab this formula and then let's add a rule here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just do this amount field here. So let's go ahead and add this and then let's start with our first color. And so now we have I2 is greater than settings F2. So pretty much all do. So let's go ahead and go to our next one and increase our color here. And so what we're gonna wanna do is stack these because they apply from top down. And so this comes from here. So we could jump this up to 1500 and then we can see a couple of these drop down to white now because they're over or under 1500 I mean. Uh, we can go 1200, and we can see now that, uh, let's do 1199 example, or 1150. So that 1200 should now get that highlighting. And then if we go to 1050, for example, then it jumps to there. So the one thing that I did, so let me go back to 
1100. I did do greater than equals to, but I actually did just greater than. So uh, if I have 1100 here on this one, um, I can go ahead and fix that real quick. If I go back to conditional formatting, and then I just need to do this greater than equals to on these, and then it will do that correctly. So there we go, now the 1100 is done. If I do 1101, now it's not included. So that's a quick way to do a custom scale there. And then you can even have this be populated from some functions or example, um, or you could manually update them. So that's a quick and easy way to be able to do conditional formatting based on values from another tab. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on Google Sheets and Google Apps Script.